welcome everyone. This will be a video on demand. As some of you may know, I purchased and installed Barina full spectrum LED grow light on one of my plant stands. And this is the plant stand that you see in front of you. It was about eight months ago. And at that time, I wasn't experienced with the full spectrum uh, grow lights. So I used two of these light fixtures per shelf and I hang them rather low above the tops of the African violet crowns. And about a month later, about seven months ago, I made a video called how much light is too much light for African violets because due to the excessive light some of the plants developed uh, some symptoms that were indicative of the light excess on the plants. They had scorched or burnt leaves, they had tight crowns and stunted growth. So I promise that I will make an update video after I made some adjustments. And these are the adjustments I made. So I reduced the number of light fixtures per shelf down to only one fixture and I hang it in the center here on the top of each shelf. And I also removed those hook uh, fixtures that were fixing the light fixture to the shelf and I used the zip ties as you see here to lift them as far up as possible and this way I had increased the distance between the light fixture and the top of the crown and the plants responded rather well and they started doing much better so the distance between each shelf is about 22 inches. So here from the top of the shelf here to the bottom, we have 22 inches. And then between the actual light and the top of the crown, we have about 15 to 16 inches. In the previous video I mentioned when I was just planning the adjustments that I was gonna make, I was also thinking of reducing the number of hours when I kept this light on per day. Uh, and I wound up keeping the same number of hours. So the light is on for 10 hours per day. And of course, this room gets a good amount of natural sunlight throughout the day. As we can see, the plants are doing well. What I noticed that especially well are doing the plants with variegated foliage. And they started blooming really nicely, like this one is Pink Sensation by Linden Lion Greenhouses and Serrano. Uh, and this one here is an Cheruite by Nadezhda Bernikova. This leaf here, it does look like it has some burning, but it's from the older uh, times. It's from the time when it was exposed to too much light. It's the older leaf. And the new leaves are growing really nicely. Cleopatra, the Epicia, which is a relative of African violets, is also doing nicely. I took some of the stolons from the terrarium where the mother plant was growing and I potted it up on a wick. And it is in constant bloom here under the full spectrum grow light. Rob's Waskali Rabbit, the micro mini, has developed pink variegation on a foliage and that's because of this light 
I know this light emits kind of pinkish um, shade or pinkish hue on the color of the foliage and on the color of the blooms, but it doesn't bother me too much. So for example, the pink on Rob's inner orbit is becoming kind of more intense pink. Whereas if we take it from under the light and show it in natural light, it will be le less pink. And that's about the only downside that I see to this grow light. Otherwise, um, I've been enjoying it and I see that the plants have been really enjoying it as well. Jolly Jubilee has been blooming non-stop. I need to remove some of the dead blooms. I recently learned that it's called deadheading when you remove the, the spent blooms. That's a fun word to use. And here is Wesley's depth of reason some blue with green bells and uh, variegated foliage and um, the violets with non-variegated leaves with just uh, plain green leaves they're doing well as well this is uh, br diki on angel uh, or wild angel with pink bells and this is scales by Yelena Libetska. Very nice variegation under this light. And here are some plain green leaf varieties and Tembalina. And Dumochka by Nadirta Bernikova DS Marshmallow. It's a wasp variety. And uh, Morgan's Declan Duff. I had to regrow this one because the mother plant has sported to solid fuchsia pink color blooms and tipped honey. Also very dark green, non-variegated foliage. Oh, I wanted to show you also this one. That's a newbie a new variety in my collection that I've always wanted to have, Evening's Descent. Striking color variegation on leaves. That's a new plant that I just got from Linden Lime Greenhouses. And of course, mosaic variegation here on Rose Bouquet. It's doing really well. And here we have watermelon snow, also with mosaic variegation. And the leaf chimeras are doing well under this grow light. This is Pearl Delight or Jemtjuzhny uh, Vastorg. It's a trailer a variety with chimera foliage. And here is a baby. This particular light is also very good for growing babies and even some leaf propagations that I've been trying growing on a wick. This is uh, Wesley's father Kent. And here's some of the young plants that have grown already from the same leaf propagation. And also, Keeping under this light the plants that are kind of developing slowly, particularly this tiny little one is Rosy Chicks. The mother plant uh, had created a lot of suckers and was not doing well under the old light setting. So I re have regrown it from leaves and here we have some new babies and they're doing well under this grow light here. Here on top shelf, we have more of baby plant nursery growing under the 
Barina LED full spectrum grow light and Max Scorching Sun. Look at the foliage under this light. It really enjoys it. Beautiful golden crown variegation. Here we have Cajun's Little Love. Anne has been enjoying this light. It started blooming recently. And Rob's Boogie Woogie. And Painted Silk. This particular one, sometimes it doesn't show as much variegation on foliage, uh, but here under the full spectrum Barina Grow Light, it shows very nice crown variegation on leaves and it blooms very profusely. So this is all of my update for you guys on the Barina Full Spectrum LED Grow Light. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you're doing well and stay tuned for my next videos.